for the low, low price of free, I'm gonna show you how to fix a tub stopper that's constantly doing this and won't come out, no matter what you try. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today I wanna show you how I made an awesome repair on my lift and turn tub stopper. Okay, so my video started out like this. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today I'm gonna show you how to change out a lift and turn style tub stopper. And then it went to this. Well, that just doesn't wanna lock the whole way down there. So weird. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it just screw down to the bottom of that? Plus that's not the size either. No, it's the size. Yeah, I'm trying to pull up and down right now and I can't. And then I just ended up figuring it out, making a good, simple, cheap fix that didn't cost me anything and I improved the product. So come along, let's get to fixing. going on there stop being so weird okay well I'm gonna tell you I took this so I ended up taking that apart Right, and I popped this piece out. And you put that in there. And once it goes down in there, it actually never stops spinning. Because these threads, they just, they don't even bury out. Like there's that little gap right there and it just keeps spinning. So I found a way to fix it. And I'm gonna hook this up. And we'll actually see if my old one works because that's the whole thing is my old one does the same thing. And so this is the brand new one and it does it. So I was thinking I was going to replace that and they're just all crap, dude. So what I'm going to do here is I've got a plastic washer. I'm going to take two of them. This is off of a toilet. But what I need to do here is just, just round this out a little bit. I just need to be able to get the, the bolts, that little bolt section through here. This is a little bit too small. These are actually made for a toilet. Don't worry, they haven't been on a toilet. They just came out of the package. I just don't wanna put something in here that's gonna rust, right? So if I put this on there, get that pop through right there. Oh yeah, that's gonna work right there. Let's put one more of those on there if we can, just to be on the safe side. That's a pretty thick little piece. We can put a second one on there. I bet this is actually gonna work pretty well. And then I don't have to get rid of this because it turns out there's actually nothing wrong with it. It still seals. It just has a hard time coming out. So we can salvage it. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so we got that bad boy popped on there. And now let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that is tight, sturdy, and it works so much better now. That's awesome. Okay, so that's the thing. If you have one of these lift and turn style setups, and it doesn't work, well, you know what? Just add a couple washers to it. If you had brass ones that fit, you could probably add some brass. I would do something that was not going to rust, right? So I actually had grabbed some other ones other than these originally, but I just knew they were gonna rust out or something. So I grabbed the plastic ones. I don't use these anyway on the toilets. I usually always put in washers and nuts. So. I just usually have some of these laying around. So this works out really well. So adding a couple of plastic washers to this actually made it to where it works. Like if I put this down in here and I get that, 
I get it to where it's tight and I can't move it anymore. And it works so much better than what it did. It was all wonky. It would never come out. Now it comes out right away. Works really well. You guys that make these, you might want to take a lesson right here. All right. Because I just freaking solved a huge problem for a lot of people. This is what I like. I like that I can get my 25 bucks back for this thing. All right, so we're just gonna pop this bad boy back together. It doesn't matter which side it goes in. Oh. Once again, I wish I would've shut that drain. I don't wanna lose something down it. There we go. Let's put this back on there. And this is gonna go back to the store. Thank you, but no thank you. If you need one of these and yours is broken, this would definitely come in handy. But once again, I ran into the same issue with that little gap right there because the whole thing was not threaded. Crappy design, thread the whole thing. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I can just pop the tubrella back over this. My wife's gonna have an easy time with doing that. Works out really well. It's awesome. And here's the thing that I love. I had something around my house that I was able to put on here to fix this and not have to spend any money. Okay, so in the end, my wife is going to be happy. That's the important thing, okay? The second thing is that, guys, you're making lift and turn stoppers, all right? Please fix the design. Make the threads the whole way up to the body. Like, you can see that gap. That's not a good gap. It makes it all wonky, dude. It really makes it wonky. Um, I thought it was just mine, but then when I went to put the replacement in, same thing. Now I don't have to have this. It's awesome. I get to actually take this back and I save myself like 25 bucks, man. It's so crazy that this costs $25 too for a replacement piece to a tub drain. Come on. All right. So with a little bit of plastic and a sweet old knife, we hook that right up. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope somebody out there finds it helpful. All right, if you're noticing you've got some play in that, well, this is a quick fix for that. Please, I'll put a link in the description box below. You guys want to check out the Tubrella, the Tub Shroom. Like, they're both awesome products. If you're like me and you have to constantly be switching to give the kids baths, well, the Tubrella is awesome for that, right? Because I don't have to actually take it out. I can just lift it up and twist it and it's good. I got a video coming soon. I had a bunch of um, subscribers help me out with reviewing the Tubrella and I've got some good feedback. So it's gonna be a fun video. If you like the channel, please click the subscribe button. Keep coming back. We'd love to have you keep coming back. We're just trying to help people out. We hope that we're doing that. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.